Hey guys, Mike Sorga at Sorgatron on the Twitters for the Wrestling Mayhem Show, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for this April 22nd, 2015. And please go check out our friends, IndieWrestling.us, SliceOnBroadway.com, and BoldPittsburgh.com, supporters of the show. And please support them back and let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and its affiliates. So Lucha Underground uh, for the day uh, is the topic. And uh, there is a spoiler written article. I'm trying not to read through this thing. I have not been watching Lucha Underground Qualifier, but I watched early on. And I love hearing the guys talk about it over on the Midweek War which you can find on iTunes and everywhere else at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. But, of course, uh, the news is bit, uh, Lucha Underground is having a finale. They just taped it. You can go check out spoilers if you really want. Uh, there's no date yet for Season 2 to premiere. Now, we've had seasonal programming in the past, and it's never seemed to work out. I think this is going to be a little different. This is different in general. We're used to no seasons, no days off, you know, um, and we see kind of, we're seeing, I think, the the wreckage of that with our wrestlers and the injuries and everything. Um, I contend that in general, WWE, they're paying the guys enough. They should give most of their guys, put them on for 10 months of the year, let them have two months off to recoup because nobody wants to lose their spot. You know, but make it mandatory, and then they can design their storylines around that. You know, I think there needs to be a fundamental change. But Lucha Underground, they are doing this, but they're also not as big. These guys aren't on the road with Lucha Underground as much. There's a, occasional taping, and that's it. But the 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 show seems to have uh, uh, overtaken the the internet and the and the wrestling fan community um, so much. I don't think having a few months off between seasons is going to be a problem because it is so captivating and they've done something here and it's been serialized and it's been you know it's a different uh look with the robert rodriguez style to a lot of the backstage promos i love it i can't you know, and and for me as somebody who has not caught on i have a few months to go back and watch those episodes hopefully they put them somewhere where i can just watch through them all oh. As, as a consumer, as somebody's like, oh, check this stuff out. And, and it's more episodic, uh, you know, at, as a TV series is. And it does lead up to a finale, it seems. Um, I think this is great. It's something different, and maybe you'll see others do this. You, you did see, you know, through no fault of their own, Impact Wrestling having kind of a three months hiatus, and they rebooted a little bit. And you can debate whether that worked, didn't work, what's going on with them in general. But um, I think uh, I, I think this is kind of the new way to do things. You know, kind of the less is more. And this is an hour show a week, and and you no, know, and everybody is talking about it, much like NXT to a certain point, right? Because NXT is like it's an hour, but it's a great hour. Right versus WWE regular is putting on five hours of regular primetime television, and we're just diluted and don't care. But I digress. What do you think about Lucha Underground taking some time off? What is it going to hurt? Hurt them? Is it going to help them? Is it going to make us hungrier for more when they come back? Maybe let some people catch up. We'll get that stuff on Netflix, and we can all binge watch it. Maybe let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter at Mayhem Show or wherever you find this audio or video or comment on uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And let me know what you think about Lucha Underground. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.